Do you have big dreams that sometimes feel absolutely overwhelming? If you do, trust me, you're not alone. This happens to all of us. There's a couple of things that you can do that are going to help you move past that feeling of your dreams being just too big. Um, and I'll share with you a few tips and we'll talk a little bit more about the journaling exercise that I shared in the 100 day journal episodes just prior to this episode posting. So let's start there. Uh, you know, if you write down your really, really big goals, it may be something like starting a new business, becoming an entrepreneur, um, and living that more flexible life. Write down what that huge goal is, and then write down what I like to call are the micro goals. So the smaller things that are gonna move you towards that life. And then underneath that, catalog the baby steps. Because truly, it is those small baby steps taken every single day, purposeful and deliberate action that's going to move you toward that dream life or that big goal that you have. Another tip to help you move forward is to really focus on being present. Um, I started a meditation practice much later than I should have. This could have helped me in so many ways. Um, but if, if you can really be present and enjoy what's happening here today and those steps that you're taking and avoid that rumination where you're you know, thinking about things that are coming up that you're concerned about or worried about or reliving or rehashing things that have happened in the past. N neither one of those is helpful when you're building your dream life. So really stay present, what's happening right here and now, and move forward by taking those small steps. They're enough. And many times we tell ourselves that they don't count unless they're you know, the great big leaps. And rarely does progress actually happen that way. Usually it really is those small steps. So that's part of the journaling exercise that I talk about in the two previous videos, is writing down what your big goals are and then breaking them down into those small baby steps that you can take every day. The other thing is uh, finding books that really resonate with you. I love audiobooks, and especially those books that are going to help me move past my own limitations. One of them that I absolutely adore is by Jen Sincero, and it is called You Are a Badass. And that is an amazing book. You'll find as you're listening to or reading that book, different ideas come up for you on things that you can do to move forward. Uh, one of the things I like about listening to the book is that Jen does do the narration herself, which is super cool because you get a little sneak peek into her personality and get to hear her passion as she talks about how you can move forward and create your badass life. So those are a couple of tips for you. Um, I would highly recommend that you go back and listen to the journaling exercise, focusing every day on what you're going to do to move forward, and then thinking about your progress at night will help motivate you and keep you moving forward towards your goals and dreams and bring down that level of overwhelm that all of us run into, especially when we start thinking about the really cool stuff that we want to do. Have a great day.